Greetings, I'm Bishop Rob Hirschfeld of the Episcopal Church of New Hampshire. And I thought I would take a few minutes and just um, share with you some thoughts I've been having about, about Christmas as we prepare for the celebration of Christ's birth among us. For many years, our family has had this, this poster, this woodcut, which comes to us from the Bread and Puppet community of Glover, Vermont. It's a simple woodcut, which has the usual characters that we see around any creche. Um, it, there's Mary in her Mary in blue, and she's beholding a child uh, who's in a manger, Jesus. And of course, they're in, um, they're in a stable, so there's the depiction of a, of a donkey. It's the same image, um, minus Joseph, I guess, uh, that we see in the stained glass window that's here at the Chapel of All Angels here at Diocesan House. Same image, but it's a little more simple, maybe a little, little more primitive. And the artist has chosen a particular word, which has always struck me whenever I walk by this, this poster. And it's the word with, the word with. It's a, a reference clearly to the passage from Isaiah Isaiah 7, which says, Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us, God with us. And there's a direct quote of that passage from Isaiah in Matthew's gospel when Matthew describes the wonderful birth of Jesus. With, God with us. It's not God above us anymore, merely. It's not God below us. It's not God against us. Um, it's not even God within us solely, but God with us as a companion, as one who gives us comfort, that is strength with us. In our society right now, clearly, we are often set against each other we are encouraged to see our neighbor as someone who is against us or opposed to us. God says there's another way. There's another way to be holy, and that is to experience God's, I'll coin a word here, withness, God's accompaniment, God's closeness in the flesh, in Jesus. In Jesus, God takes on our humanity so that God is so with us that God is even closer to us than our own heartbeat, heartbeat, our own, our own breath. I wonder if, as we approach this holiday, uh, this Christmas time, and as we prepare for our own Christmas communion, which is of course a time when we experience again and again God's withness, God's accompaniment with us, that if we might consider who do we choose to be with in this season? Who have we chosen to be without or against? And how is Christ's birth encouraging us again to be with God and in God, to be with all of God's creation and with our neighbor? May you have a blessed and holy Christmas and a happy new year.